Today it is the second video and uh, third problem solving lecture on uh, Bring Me Integration series. The integration that I am going to solve today is a very tricky one and a very important one also. And sorry that I am using only pen and paper not uh, pen and board because uh, because of some problems I hope you guys can understand. Okay, so let's start it. The integration was integration from 0 to infinity then maximum modulus function of n into e to the power minus x dx where this n belongs to set of all natural numbers now this integration is very important because uh, if someone understand this integration and how to solve this they can understand a lot of other problems also but first of all, for those who have some problem with this greatest integer function, let me tell what this greatest integer function is. See, if 1.5 is under this box or greatest integer function, then output will be 1. If it is 2.7, then output will be 2. So for positive numbers, remember, for positive numbers, you can think that greatest integer function scraps this decimal part. Okay? And for negative numbers see what happens minus 2.3 will become into 3 okay so actually the thing is x if x lies between n minus 1 and n then or uh, whatever it is then box of x will be equal to n minus 1 that is the integer which is greatest and less than it okay this x lies between 0 to infinity now if it's the if it is the scenario then though we can't multiply this inequation by negative and change the inequation signs but we can tell one thing at least that minus infinity is obviously less than x which is less or equal to 0 and if it is true then e to the power minus infinity is less than e to the power minus x which is in turn less than e to the power 0. This will imply that 0 is less than e to the power minus x is less or equal to 1. Or then 0 is less than n into e to the power minus x which is less or equal to n. This is what we need to show. See, actually this entire function, this entire thing n into e to the power minus x, this will be less than this particular in, in, in natural number which we are taking okay so now check it from 0 to 1 then 1 to 2 2 to 3 and in this way up to n minus 1 to n what is happening there what be I mean what I want to say see when the value of this n into e to the power minus x lies between 1 I mean lies between 0 and 1 then which values of x is responsible for it we need to find out that because what we have to do see here we cannot integrate this function simply from 0 to infinity we have to break this interval okay so that is what I am doing next now this will imply that 0 is less equal to e to the power minus x less than 1 by n which again if we take log here see this one will become minus infinity this will be less than minus 6 and this will be less than log of 1 by n or in other words we can say equivalently minus log of n so saying this one is equivalent of saying that log of n log of n is less than x less than infinity so see you can understand that this one will be the last sub interval in which we shall break this integration because infinity is here infinity is here what we are here so actually in the, if we calculate this integra integration that log of n to infinity n into e to the power minus x dx then it will become log of n to infinity see what is the value of n into the power minus x that is this it, it lies between this one so 
box of n into e to the power minus 6 will be nothing but 0. So this integration will be actually 0 into dx that is nothing other than 0 only. Okay. This one was the first sub, I mean uh, the broken integral that we can say though this time is not technically correct. Okay. Now let's come to the next case. I mean next interval where the value of this one is between 1 to 2. Okay, let's take it. Okay, uh, one minute. Some can say why I am starting it from 0. I can I should have taken the negative part also. But see, my dear friends, this e to the power minus x. This always is greater than 0. And n belongs to a natural number. It is again a positive number. So multiplication in multiplication or the product of the po two positive numbers. Sorry, product of two positive numbers is again a positive number okay and also see what we have found here n into the power minus 6 lies between 0 and n so I think this is conclusive conclusive and if someone missed it then this one will be applicable for him or her okay now for 1 into n into e to the power minus x less than 2 okay see what is happening here same thing will happen nothing but the but a little bit change in calculation nothing more than that again take the log so it will be log of and I'm, I'm writing it in one time log of I mean minus log of n that is actually 1 by log of 1 by n will become log minus log of n then less or equal to minus x less than minus log of n by 2 then again it will become log of n by 2 less than x less than log or equal to log of n so in this case when the interval of integration is between log of n by 2 to log of n then n into e to the power minus x dx this what is the value of the integrand will be see integrand lies between 1 to 2 therefore the integrand will be none other than this one is log of n by 2 and log of n integrand will be 1 dx since it is 1 dx then it is log of n minus log of n by 2 we can proceed in this similar way right in this case comparing with the previous cases see when it was when n into e to the minus x was uh, lying between 1 to 2 when it was lying between 1 to 2 the interval of x was log of n by 2 into log of n okay this 2 came right here and this one came right there so in this case also we can say this one will be log of n by 3 that is less than x which is less or equal to log of n by 2 okay so in this way we can perform the integrations and obviously uh, from the analogy from of the uh, previous example we can show here that integration of log of n by 3 to log of n by 2 and what will be the value of integrand that will be 2 that is obvious 2dx that is 2 into log of n by 2 minus log of n by 3 clear I hope it is clear so in this way we can proceed now proceeding in this way we shall come to the last possible set of values of this n into e to the power minus 6 that is n minus 1 is less equal to n into e to the power minus x is less than n nothing new here also it will become n minus 1 by n less than or equal to e to the power minus x less than 1 obviously so this is again log of n by n minus 1 I am changing it because some negative number oh sorry 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 I am doing one step ahead again then 0 less than x less equal to log of n by n minus 1 clear in this way we have got it so
from the clear analogy we can say when it is n minus 2 less or equal to n into e to the power minus x less than n minus 1 obviously from here we can or from the previous examples also we can say in this case the interval for x will be log of n by n minus 1 log of n by n minus 2 so i hope we have got all the intervals now rest is just simple a routine work that is when we are finding this integration from 0 to infinity box of n into e to the power minus x then it will be broken into from 0 see what we are getting here from 0 to log of n by n minus 1 then the value will be here what will be the value the value will be n minus 1 obviously n minus 1 dx plus integration from log of n into n minus 1 to log of n divided by n minus 2 then this is n minus 2 dx i hope you guys are understanding from where this n minus 2 is coming here okay check this thing now plus dot 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 in this way we shall come here which we got from the previous page log of n by 2 to log of n 1 into dx and finally log of n to infinity it is 0 into dx okay so so far it was just breaking the integral i hope that uh, nothing more is required here and the rest of the part is routine calculation i hope you guys can do that very well but still i'm giving some hint for that also right so from the very first integral check n minus 1 is coming out i'm calculating this integral uh, this integral actually i'm calculating n minus 1 is coming out then it is remaining log of actually log of n by log of n minus 1 so i can write it log of n minus log of n minus 1 uh, actually that was, was log of n by n minus 1 i'm calculating it i'm writing it in this way plus n minus 2 is coming out then log of n minus log of n minus 2 minus of log of n then plus of log n minus 1 if anyone is getting trouble to understand understand this thing please try to follow it again more carefully okay you people will obviously understand plus dot 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 plus log of n minus log of n plus log of 2 okay and this one is 0 obviously now watch carefully this is n minus 1 log of n minus n minus 1 into log of n minus 1 and here log of this n and oh my god i should have given a point bracket here and this one is cancelling out this two are cancelling out see sorry these two are cancelling out hmm? then it is becoming uh, plus n minus 2 no this one will be minus minus n minus 2 log of n minus 2 and minus n minus 1 log of n minus 1 okay then plus dot 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 these two are cancelling out log of 2 okay watch carefully from here here it was n minus 1 log of n minus 1 and here it is this one will be n minus 2 n minus 2 log of n minus 1 so finally what i am getting here finally i am getting in my c n minus 1 minus of n minus 2 that is so one remaining here okay obviously you guys can understand that so see this is a very beautiful thing what is remaining here i'm writing the expression verbatim 
you can see at this point it is n into log of n then it is first n into log of n then it is minus of log n okay minus of log n then this one is minus n minus 1 log of n minus 1 then minus n minus 2 log of n minus 1 so n minus 1 both there are minus in both the cases so finally what it is become now after that there was n minus 1 log of n minus 1 see from this point it was n minus 1 into log of n minus 1 and n minus 2 log of n minus 1 so for n minus 1 I mean for log of n minus 1 see what is happening here it one was n minus 1 and then there was plus of n minus 2 so since we are taking minus common here it will become minus n then plus 2 so it will finally become 1 so this one will become minus of log of n minus 1 we can proceed in this way and finally we will end up with log of 2 then n into log of n minus log n here then c of log of n minus 1 comparing the first two terms oh sorry 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 comparing first these two terms this is minus n minus log of n then minus log n minus 1 obviously the next term will be minus log of n minus 2 so on and finally it will become log of 2 so here it is n into log of n taking the minus common log n plus log n minus 1 plus log of n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus log of 2 and we can write plus log of 1 obviously we can write it because log of 1 is nothing but 0 so this one is log of n to the power n minus of it is it follows directly from the properties of logarithm uh, then dot 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 2 into 1 this is why I wrote log 1 here uh, that is not that much needed but still it looks a little bit artistic so log of n factorial finally log of n to the power n by n factorial and this one is the answer that we were requiring so finally this is what our problem is it looks a little bit longer but that is only why I have explained it a lot each step of this problem is very beautiful you guys can take the screenshot I'm removing my hand from here you guys can take the screenshot and then this one okay I hope it is done I hope it will be really helpful for everyone and this problem is uh, not only helpful for concept but for entrances oh my goodness I damn my English handwriting okay for entrances especially engineering entrances or uh, some universities take entrances for uh, BSc also for those cases for those entrances this type of problems are really essential or important and see what is the main thing here that is that lies in this first column this is the main thing rest of the part is just nothing but expanding expanding in that okay it is nothing but expansion of the first paragraph here so i hope that you guys have understood it i hope that you guys have enjoyed the video and sorry that i couldn't use the board today uh, it is because i <laughs> i have some problem so thank you everyone for watching i shall keep uploading videos and also follow my uh, like my facebook page follow my youtube channel subscribe like the videos share among your friends remember if we share the knowledge the knowledge will be enhanced increased knowledge and sorrow if i mean so if you if you sh share the sorrow then sorrow decreases and if you share joy knowledge, knowledge this thing this all increases okay so thanks for watching good night everyone tata -da.